morning, everybody. Good morning. That's not me preaching, it's the chair, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so, yeah, another beautiful morning. Um, as I said before, we're spending more time, time on the boat now, aren't we? We've, yeah. We've come out for breakfast, the van's parked just up here. So it's pretty nice, really. Lovely. Pretty nice, really. Looks like we've got a home. <laughs> Half a. Half. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to crack on with that door in a minute. Uh, get the security done. And whatever. Fans at work today, ain't you? <laughs> All day. My work's a bit quiet this week. I've, got, I've had a few bits, but nothing. Well, I've had a big install this week, but that does help when you have a decent install one day. But anyway, I'm going to press on. I need to check the fuel on the fire, don't we? You may have run out. I think so, yeah. I, don't, I, I couldn't remember when we bought it, though, can we? <laughs> we don't know how long it lasted us. <laughs> no, so what I'm going to do this time is we we will... I'll put X amount of litres in there and we'll time time how many, how many hours the fire's on. Mm. So we, we, we know it should be about 0 0.28, 0 0.3 litres per hour on low. So, and we only run it on low anyway, haven't we? Don't be that cold, though, is it? No, no, no. Just, we just have to find for a few hours at night, don't we? So, mm. so yeah, we're having breakfast. Just mm. had some yoghurt and some Alpen. Love that. It's really nice, that is. That's a Yo Valley. I think that's beautiful. And much better than the news. <laughs> the news is shocking. Very grim. It is grim. Nothing happy there, is there? So right, we get uh, get breakfast wrapped up. Oh, I have got some croissants with peanut butter. <laughs> feed the machine. You have to feed the machine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the machine needs a surface, to be fair. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> peanut butter and jam, yeah, lovely. I'm not going to have that now because I think if I have that, I'll just go, I'm not moving. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to get cracking this morning, so. Playing around with this door trim. Um, and not there. I want to I want to get the bottom of these doors in, get that padlock on. Uh, and I've got some, I've got some locks as well. So I'm going to play around with those. That might be interesting. Yeah, we were thinking, because we haven't actually got a lock on the boat at the moment. And there's more and more on it now, isn't there? There always has been really tools. Tools are very nickable, aren't they? But mm. we okay. are lucky that we're in a a we're place where I, mm. I I think I trust ninety nine percent of the people here. So, <coughs> but right, let's get cracking on the door. Fun gonna go to work. Yeah, I'm gonna get so you'll just be stuck with me for a few hours. Well, not a few hours, but all day. All day. <laughs> stuck with me all day. All day. Right, fans good to work. I'm gonna continue on with just framing this door. One of those five minute jobs takes a couple of hours. Uh, soundtrack in the morning, Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, I had to turn it down for YouTube, obviously. Right, um, so what I'm really doing, you okay there? I think you are. Um, just some oak strip, it's light oak. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. So a bit of adhesive around there, Bosh, bosh with a nail gun. Uh, job done, that ain't going anywhere. Uh, yeah, when you're thing. lining this, what I find is, what I found is, there are little blobs of weld all over the place that you have to uh, just grind off and repaint. It takes a bit of time. But uh, hey ho, it is what it is. So, right, I'm waiting for um, Screw Fix to tell me my padlock is in. Is that the one? It is. So a few blobs off. This is some of that brown OB1 that I've got left. Uh, same as CC1. Both both of them are adhesive sealants. So just, it ain't going anywhere. I'm not trying to hold up the fourth road bridge or anything. So a few blobs on there. Get that in. 
in fact, and that's okay. I'll take the top. That top was just sat there for, some, for a bit. I'll take that one down. Uh, bit of adhesive and a bit of. How did I put on there? Up to some. Sort of, That's not going anywhere. Right, uh, I hadn't got enough of that stuff left, so I've got two that I, I'm gonna layer in and sort of join them. And up there, you, you're really not gonna see them anyway. It's not really very much. So I've just shown for on the edges, that one. So yeah, I'll, I'll pop this one in. And at least that door frame starts to look a little bit better. Might have just got that, knocked that one in, a bit of a DC behind this. Let's pop a couple of. any fixes in there and then I'm going to put this one on with a bit of a bit of wood glue just to hold that together and that's framing it you can see that like that that's okay looks okay to me um, so a little bit of a little bit of gorilla again this is old in no weight at all I'm not, not putting a stack on, I don't need to. So again, a couple of little pops in there. Anyway. Fran hates this. <laughs> She's scared to death of this. Uh, yeah, so it's one of those tools. Well, most tools you have to give them some, some respect. This is where I um, open myself up to a ton of messages, I think. <laughs> right, uh, bow door security. Back sort of okay. Big padlock on this. Um, these steel doors, they don't lend themselves to. Yeah, our locks and things like that very off, very easily, and mortise locks and things like that. Uh, because they're, 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 they're sort of quite thin. And there's just, you mortise lock, forget it, there's no way you put that in. But anyway, right, so. Um, yeah, so these locks, basically hasp, hmm, anyway, haspless. I think they're haspless or stapless. One of the two. I never remember which way around that is. So these are these are a little bit of a pig to get into. There's nothing to grind off. And if you want to take a hammer to that, feel free to have a go at it. Um, so it's all hidden, the mechanism. Locks underneath. Comes with three keys. And basically you have these two brackets that interlock. Um, and that fits between the two. So I think it looks quite neat when it's on. Neater than a haspless staple. Uh, and it's all about making your boat that little bit more secure than the one next to you. So, boat, anybody who wants to get into a boat wants to be in and out. If, you, if it takes a half hour to get in, they're, gonna, they're not going to bother. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And of course, there'll be security cameras in here as well that will start recording as soon as anybody walks in. Um, which, there'll be obviously stickers on the windows that alert people to that too. So, so right, I've... Um, yeah, there's, it's obviously going to make a bit of a mess on the inside. Uh, but I'm going to put some, a piece of oak or something on there and that will allow me to put the catch for the inside that's my theory anyway so hide all this stuff uh, came to sink this in came to sink the nuts and then cut the bolts off because they're over length cut the bolts off uh, right so I've put a 
uh, pilot drills through those. And then open it up with the, the, the big boy. Oh, that's all flat on my legs. Ouch. Gabioles. I'm obviously going to put paint in these and and sealant and everything to stop any of those rusting through so again bear with me on that one so da -da -da. I'm just gonna like I say roughly fit these they're they're a captive bolt see that says a flat on there so you can't undo them from the outside. So that's that there. I could paint them black, but I actually think all the black paint is just gonna chip off them if I do that anyway. So remember this is all going to be under a cover as well when the A-frame and uh, bow cover's all done. So, right, so I'll do the other side. I'm trying to line them up, give you an idea what it's sort of going to look like. I'm going to swap those over. Mm. At the moment, the rain will get into that lock because it's up on the top. But it won't once the cover's on. And obviously, this is a lot more, it's a lot easier to open than if it's underneath, especially the other half. But idea just got to level all that up space them up um, so they look as though there's something like in line right again one bolt a uh, bit of a wooden space so that would stay there so what I'm gonna do say boring you with a thousand hours of fitting a lock Get the spaces all done so I know it's all right. Make sure the lock's fitting properly. Measure the gap here. Get some steel cut because if I just put washers on there, it'd be difficult. But you might be able to get a grinder in behind there. It would be difficult, but it's, it's, there you go. So um, get some steel cut for, for there. Mount that. Paint the spaces all black. Drill, paint, seal. Job done. Then the inside. Recess the wood out so the nuts go right the way back to the steel. Cut the long bolts off. And then we'll have the oak on the inside for some kind of catch. That's the theory anyway. Um, right, I'll press on with Frame around the inside the door. 
Go to screw fix, go to wicks, they've got nothing. Go to juicings, they've got nothing. Fit this lock all day. <laughs> Multiply that by a thousand, because that's how many jobs you've got to do. There you go. Right. Um, made myself a bit of a slurp. I've cut some spacers. Uh, I'm going to spray these black. A bit OTT on them. But just till I get some steel, get some steel so I can cut those and then I can finalise all that. Well, booty people around today. So just give this a quick spray. There. Well, I'll give them a couple of coats and also <coughs> OTT. I know oh, nothing special, I'm not going to go mad just to make it look um, these little spiders just uh, to make it look a bit more respectable. Oh, it's another coat on that in a bit when it's dried. Then I can uh, sort of bolt that up for now. Move on to something else. Okay, yeah, I had some comments about uh, this copper pipe, chromed copper pipe. Um, wasn't aware of this at all. Um, so uh, I, I did a bit of a test. Actually, our pipes can't move up or down. They can't go in it. They can't pull out because of the way they are. And also our system isn't under pressure either. It's an open system. It's only circulation. There is, there is virtually no pressure there at all. But... I wanted to just show you this because uh, thanks for those guys that mentioned this. I, I'd never known. I'm an electrician. Um, pop that into the fitting. Uh, that's just cr chrome end. It just pulls straight out. It, it, in fact, don't agree. It, it's very easy to pull out. So I've just took a bit of sandpaper to that 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 end there, and I tried several fittings. It's not fitting. Um, just to take the surface off a little bit and uh, pop it into there and. I can move, I can't, I can't, those teeth, those teeth do dig in. So it, it, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't come out. But they do, they do move. They do move. But it's all about the stainless steel rings inside here, it can't bite into the chrome. Um, which, yeah, I, I, I didn't know about it. Right, it's a quite surprising not actually move. There's no pressure in this. See, see, that one I've been messing with. I may have weakened that one. I can't pull that off at all. So, just sanding that down a little bit. Obviously, you you've got to be careful. You, you don't want to damage this pipe because if you put any scratches in it, the water's going to come past the seal. But yes, who knew? Um, a few minutes just sanding that chrome surface off um, it's just enough for those teeth to bite into so <laughs> yeah and I've just looked around on forums and it's surprising how many plumbers have done something similar and they've gone back to a very wet house so thanks for the guys that point that out one of those things um, but yes chrome pipes into push fits and it seems all the push fit manufacturers say the same thing so uh, I wouldn't say disaster averted, but I'm glad I know about it. So a few minutes with a bit of, a bit of emery cloth is worth doing. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. Cheers guys. Yo, Grouting. Oh, Grouting. Grouting. Yeah, uh, welcome back to Moonshine. It's a lovely day. It is a nice day outside and we're stuck inside working. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I've done the yeah, the boat's all upside down again. Fires out and stuff. But to be honest, piece of cake to take out. Uh, uh, yeah, a piece of cake to take out. So uh, that, that's always good. Literally five minutes, I'll have the fire out. Well, some fans yet? She's uh, she's out in the tiles. Uh, like an off-white, aren't they? Yeah. Off-white, like, what did you say it was? Jasmine. Jasmine, so uh, yeah, just like an off-white. Um, 
the surrounds done now for the the tiles as well did a step i'm just working on the 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 other step at the moment that should go there just pull the ethernet cable in for the telly as well all so little all little jobs actually the hardest thing was that cable for the bloody ethernet wasn't it yeah um but anyway it's through so yeah fans great in the tiles so we can get all that cleaned up buttoned up uh fire back on on its plinth and then bolt it down properly with the uh, rubber washers and all that sort of stuff so that's sort of air uh sort of done yeah there's still a bit of We'll have to oil the wood yet and a bit of a sun, but yeah, apart from we can get to that with the fire in place. Right, yeah, so that's, uh, she's in the, almost in the sunshine, look, almost, almost. Yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> so I'm going to press on now with the rest of that step. Not very exciting stuff, but uh, our kitchen will be here this week. Hopefully. Hopefully our kitchen's here now. Well, when you're watching this video, we won't know to the end because we haven't got it yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking, whatever. Um, okay, so uh, let's press on with uh, our next jobs. Oh, oh pooly, pooly. I've got, I've got a few poolies actually, yeah. <laughs> scratches and stuff. Um, I'll get on with that step, uh, cutting the buffalo board. Well, it's not buffalo board, it's uh, this is what I sort of, but it was off cut from a job I did in the week, so F free. We like free. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, uh, yeah, um, I was going to show you this actually. Um, I, I, yeah, I was going to tell you about this as well. The flame pattern that you saw in the other video wasn't wasn't quite right. There was something, something not quite there, and and, and I, I messed around, looked on YouTube, which gave me an answer to one of the questions. But basically, there's a there's a cylinder that sits inside the stove. I'll show you that in a second when I light it, just so you can see how easy it is. Uh, but I got that in the wrong place. So last night when we had the fire on, uh, which is there. Um, it was a really nice blue flame, almost like a almost like a gas flame. So that was good. That's a, that was a result. Um, also out here, I don't think I showed it you last week because I was a bit running around with backside on fire. Um, I, I guess some of you wondered where the where's the fuel coming from. Well, uh, if I just show you down here, right there he is. I've rigged up a temporary uh, fuel tank, and it is a proper fuel tank. Um, it is made for gasoline, but it'll be fine. Uh, proper fuel tank that allows me to run that stove temporarily till our, our stainless steel job becomes. So that's that's in there, in the way. Still plenty of fuel in there, so that's good. So yeah, that's how we're running the diesel stove for now. It's just just on that temporary tank. So of course I can I can take that out and fill it up and bring it back. Uh, that diesel stove, by the way, uses about 0.3 liters an hour on on low. Which, don't know the fuel's which is great. <laughs> I wish it used less. But uh, the yeah, the heat it gave out. Let's put that cover back. Uh, let's put it down. Let's put that cover back before one of us stand, stands on it and does a Tom Daly into the cut. Okay, so yeah, uh, we can. Uh, our list from last week. I can, I can actually cross a few items off there, I think. Of course, I would have to find a pen to be able to do that. And in this, I was one on the floor. Don't look in this side. That's our next job, really, is when we finish this, it's just a bit of a tidy up, which we keep doing. I think you have to. So, where are we? Um, so, where are we? Trim tile surrounds. I've done that. And I am going to cross off grout tiles for the stove as well. Because uh, that will be done in a second. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can... Nope, I can't do anything else yet. But there is two, there is two nailed off there. So that's, uh, that's okay. Yeah, some of them are quite easy to do, actually. Some are a bit more involved. But yes, anyway, that's our, that's our to-do list. From the uh, bathroom bulkhead all the way to the bow. Ready, in readiness for the... Well, the kitchen will come and we carry on with this list. This list won't get done before we do anything else, but this list is one of those, right, let's do that, let's do this, let's order that. Okay. Um, right, next. Next. 
Uh, finished job. There you go. All tiled, all, all, all welded, all protected from catching fire. Just, just a five, just a five-minute job. Lovely, looks great. Uh, and the step is still a little bit of work in progress, but uh, and, and ignore those little block things there because <laughs> they're just a bit of support. But yeah, there's the there's the corner. Two days, two weeks work in the making. I think that's. Yeah, I think. That's nice, yes, I'm really pleased with it. I thought I'd show you how to uh, light this diesel stove, this bubble stove. How easy it is. So you've got a control knob here. Uh, you open this up, it's easy as that, until you see a digestive biscuit size pool of diesel in the bottom, which I know is already in there, it's quite hard to show you that, but you do need a torch to look in there. Um, I use these little filers, mainly because I've got tons left and it seems, seems to work okay, I know some people use meths and stuff. but. Right, drop that in there. And pop the little basket back in. And the decorative coals. Uh, it just says leave the door open for like 20 seconds or something like that. Oh, I didn't have to empty the ash pan either. Because there isn't one. <laughs> so, well, you can see that's... Uh, well, hopefully you can see it. Let's show you. You see that's doing its thing down there. Maybe. This control knob, I sort of running it is at three. To start with, get it going. Get a good flame in there. So... That's really as hard as it is. So that's gonna, I'm gonna leave the door open for, or a jar, for about, uh, about a minute or so. Then close that up. Then what'll happen is, you'll see that yellow flame, an orange flame, that's from the fire lighter itself. What that's doing is atomizing, or vaporizing the diesel. Then once it's up and going, it's quite hard to show, but you get like a blue flame inside there and uh, it's all up and going. So just say don't leave the stove within 20 minutes of lighting it. I think that's because if, the, if it doesn't catch, which it's never not done that, um, it's gonna fill that uh, reservoir up to, I think it says 15 mil. So if it blows out, the, it will fill up to 15 mil. No higher, it won't overflow or anything. Um, and then you've got, you can't light it when it's got that much diesel in there. So you've got to get that out. So they recommend a sponge in a plastic bag, sort of squeeze, you know, squeeze it, suck up the diesel, then pull it out. And then you, you clo close it with a plastic bag. Right, that's been going a while now. Uh, I don't think you can see it up there. Well, maybe you can. Yeah, so you can see that doing its stuff inside. there so uh, I'm just gonna close that the door it is as easy as that so I'll show you that in a sec see, I'll see if I can show you that blue flame in a second when it's really up and going but that's what you've got to do it's so easy and we've been running this on one I know it's not super cold at, the, at night which well, has been it's been well not super cold two or three degrees um, but wow we had the door open last night it was like pfft. so yeah, all good, that's it. And I'll show you the flame in a second so you can get an idea of uh, what that's like. But cleanliness, dust, lack of, fire lighters, wood, coal. Oh. I know diesel's expensive, yeah, of course it is. But so is coal now. So I think roughly, I can't tell exactly at the moment, but we'll start to measure that a little bit. I think we've had this on uh, 10 pounds worth, which is what it was, which ain't a lot of diesel, is it? <laughs> £10 worth has lasted me about the same as a bag of coal. 
burn time wise I think but anyway uh, we'll let that go and uh, I'll show you that blue flame in a second right you can just see the basket inside that's glowing like a cherry red if I can just get ah yeah you can see they're beautiful so there's the blue flame that uh, you'd sort of expect when it's running nice and clean and I don't think you can see that's about it really that's sort of, that's all we're going to be able to show if I open the door it just comes out searching for oxygen and you, you, it upsets the flame pan but that's what you're looking for with a bubble stove right there right that's another week flown by gone quick God, it does doesn't it so not big changes this week but it gives you an insight into all the little stuff that needs to be done I think yeah, we've done lots of little jobs, haven't we, finishing off? Yeah, little bits, and there's going to be lots of that, isn't there? So, yeah, so, yeah we just uh, spoke to the kitchen people, and there's a bit, a little bit of a delay, not much, that one of the units didn't pass QC, so uh, we'll probably looking into next week before we get that here. Yeah. So that's fine, that's fine with us, we've got plenty to do. <laughs> and we're, we're not doing much this weekend, are we? Because no. it's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day on Sunday, and we're going to see all the grandkiddies for Easter eggs and stuff. As well as well so a bit of a bit of a a bit of a weekend off this week um so we do that right okay so thanks very much for that oh have been tuned uh subscribers are going well again aren't they yeah yeah keep it going so yeah that's going up. really well so we, we, we do likes. like that it's brilliant loads of comments again last week and uh, look forward to your comments again this week so yeah press, give us a like press that subscribe if you if you're so kind it all helps the channel it certainly does us a um, a, bit, a little bit of a favour. Yeah, sort of. Um, we'll see you next time, shall we? Shall we? We will. We'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, guys. See you. Bye. 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 bye.